Hello kids, how are you all? Greetings of the day. I hope you are safe at home and doing your studies properly. My dear kids, today I am going to narrate you a story. Yes, a story about three friends whom you already know. So let us know the story about three friends. One day, Moodle, Foodle and Isla decided to visit their another friend, Jack. It was birthday of Jack and they wanted to give him a surprise. So all of them took out their bicycles and went on riding. Now let's see what happened next. While riding, they realized that they had forgotten to buy a gift for Jack. They halted their riding and went to buy gifts for the birthday boy. Then they entered a gift gallery and decided to buy individual gifts for Jack. After that, Foodle bought a small toy car for rupees 58 for Jack. On the other hand, Moodle purchased toy boat for 25 rupees and Isla bought a toy airplane for 84 rupees. After purchasing the gifts, they started riding their bicycles. That time, they needed to cross a zebra crossing to reach their destination. There were other vehicles waiting for the green signal of the traffic light. Motorcycles, buses, auto rickshaws, cabs, all were waiting in a queue. On hearing the honking and squealing sound of the train, Isla looked towards her left and noticed a railway track. There. Meanwhile, traffic light turned green and all the three friends started their journey again. Finally, they reached his home. They greeted him and gave all the birthday gifts bought by them. Jack felt really happy. He gave a treat to his friends. Jack's dad bought pastries for 64 rupees, chocolates for 37 rupees, wafers for 25 rupees for Jack's friends. Moodle, Foodle and Isla spent quality time with Jack. All of them enjoyed the day. So children, how was the story? I know you must have liked the story. Now I am going to ask you a few questions which are related to the story. So my first question is, name all the means of transport mentioned in the story. Yes, your answer is correct. Car, airplane, boat, buses, scooters, train and bicycles. These all are means of transport which are mentioned in the story. Now kids, do you know that car, bus, scooter, train and bicycles are the examples of land transport whereas airplane is the means of air transport and boat is the mean of water transport. Very nice. Children, now let us move to the question number 2 where we will play with numbers which were mentioned in the story. So here is our first question. Jack's dad bought pastries for 64 rupees and chocolates for 37 rupees. Find out the total money spent by Jack's dad. So kids to find out the total money spent by Jack's dad, we'll have to add both of these numbers. 
Now let's see the solution. The cost of first race bought by Jack Stat equals to rupees 64. And the cost of chocolates bought by Jack Stat equals to rupees 37. Now to find out the total money, we'll have to add both of these numbers. But kids, what do we see here? That at the ones place, we have numbers 4 and 7. And if we add both of these numbers, we get 11. And 11 is a two-digit number. So now, I know that you are confused that how to write a two-digit number at the ones place. So children, remember this golden rule. Start, start with ones. Adding up to 9, if there is more, carry next door and you will add just fine. That means, if your sum is up to 9, then you need not to worry. But, if your sum is greater than 9, then you have to carry the next number to the tens group. Okay? Or, we can understand the same with the regrouping of numbers. Okay? So, let us see how to regroup. Here, you can see that at one place, we have two numbers, 4 and 7. And we have already discussed that on adding 4 and 7, we get number 11. So, what we have to do? We have to arrange 11 units in this way. Means, we have to make a group of 10. Then what we find here that one cotton bird is left alone. We know that 10 units are equal to 1 tenth, right? Or we can say that 1 tenth is equal to 10 units. So now I will write 1 in the column of tenths for these cotton buds. Now you can see that I have carried only 1 in tenths column. So now look at the tenths column. Now we have 3 numbers in tens column that are 6, 3 and 1. Yes, 1 that is carried over. So now if we add the numbers in the tens column, what we will get? We will get 6 plus 3 equals to 9 and 9 plus 1 equals to 10. So the total money spent by Jack's dad is rupees 101. Okay, kids. And here, 10 tens represent 100 units. And 100 plus 1 equals to 101. So, let's move to our next question. That is, Foodal bought a small toy car for rupees 58. And his friend Moodle bought a toy boat for rupees 35. What is the total amount spent by both friends. Now, let's see the solution. So, the cost of small toy car equals to rupees 58 and the cost of toy boat equals to rupees 35. Now, to find the total amount, we'll have to add both of these numbers. And what we see here that the total of 8 and 5 will exceed 9. So, what we have to do now? Now, we'll have to carry over 1 at the tens place. As you can see here. Now, let us understand the same with the help of regrouping. So, at one's place, we are having numbers 8 and 5. So, again, we are going to form groups of 10. Okay? And then let's see how many groups are formed and how many birds are left alone. So, after arranging them in groups of 10, we see that 3 cotton birds are left alone. So, we'll write 3 in 1's column and we will 
write 1 in the tens column because only one group of tens is formed here. Now what we have to do? Now look at the tens column. Now there are three numbers in the tens column. 5 and 3 were already there. Now 1 is carried over in the tens column. So now if we add all these three numbers, what do we get? 5 plus 3 equals to 8 and 8 plus 1 equals to 9 tens. Very nice. So the total money spent by both of the friends is rupees 93. Now children, I hope that you have understood today's topic. Now it's time for some homework. So you have to solve these sums in your math notebook. Okay. So this is your homework for today. I hope you enjoyed today's session. Thank you and have a good day.